it's Lyronix here and today we are making another feather family video today's video i'm going to try to possibly get a new bird once again you cannot see behind me since i am blocking the screen but i have a hundred feathers right now plus i just made a bird based off the bird i wanted to get which was the hummingbird if you couldn't tell <laughs> i mean i guess my colors aren't the best but like i feel it's pretty decent and understandable and this for some reason gives me minecraft vibes for like the one the fact that you're just like in like a rainforest or somewhere and it's raining and like you just instantly step to where it's snowing and it's snowing like yeah yeah i don't know <laughs> it just gives you that kind of vibe because i don't think that would actually ever happen though. like if you have like a jungle right next to a place where it snows and you just like casually walk over to the other side i don't think it's just gonna start snowing i would imagine it'd be snowing over here if they were that close together i wouldn't imagine it's a half and half situation there also where i started this time i spot when i spawned in the map i actually spawned somewhere over here because i spawned like yeah right here because i remember going like down in this hole and i found this area again which i can't remember if it's this place actually yeah this place does have another tree okay so i don't know how many trees exactly i don't know if there's one in like each kind of like area but i know there's that one and then the one near the beach i haven't found anything really here because i don't know i don't even like really go here i've been here like a couple times but i never stay which is weird i like i'll always pick like a certain area that i'll just stay in and just i won't move from that spot and it's kind of weird though because like maybe i should try to move around the map more which would probably be maybe like a little bit more interesting but i'm not seeing anything over here plus it's like really like it's snowing so <laughs> it's really hard for me to see okay so yeah i don't see anything over here and i don't is this like the only place where it's like snowy because i was pretty sure there's like another area somewhere possibly i don't know and then this map is just so big like you have to like understand how big the map is because you have like the beach over here the snow part you have the jungle and farther on over there you got like i think the little neighborhood area and then farther back you have like you have the flower place and then the volcano which is somewhere i don't remember exactly where it is but i know it's there and then this place i don't know what this is at all <laughs> just get to see the legs in action it looks like i'm tiptoeing on the ground but i'm even dancing look at this okay but i don't even know what this is this is like it reminds me of like if an area flooded that's just the vibe i am getting from this is because it's just so like empty and nothing's around and it's literally just like a puddle of water so you get that vibe of that like it's flooded and then you also have like all this land which i have come near before i don't think i like chilled over here i just <laughs> i just kind of noticed it was here and then like walked near it and then like literally went away but there's like nothing here either unless there is then it's secret and then here's like where the volcano is located teeny volcano where's the big volcano is that it i can't tell <laughs> and then there's actually surprisingly water here but it's looking steamy oh goodness what oh is that it over there okay well there we go i found it and then look here's like a crystal for this place Oh, jeez, I fell. I was trying to land on it. There we go. All right. Oh. What? <laughs> okay there we go i don't know if there's like a way to go underground like here or if there even is like a tree like that because there's this i don't know about anything else so you have like these rocks in a big circle around it so i don't know if there would be like it would be the same as the other place or not is there a hole in here to get out okay good because <laughs> like oh my goodness just imagine like the last time i talked about this you just you just get stuck and your world comes to an end okay we have this okay i almost thought that would bring me somewhere guess not we're just we're checking because if i check and there's actually something here then that'd be great because i don't know i feel like there should be since like in the other areas i don't know if in the beach area though they have like the crystal like that but i know they have the tree it's a way bigger tree than the green tree with the spikes on it and everything. Oh goodness, I cannot see in here. 
Where's that hole again? There it is. Okay, we found it. And then there's this area as well that's also connected to the volcano place, which I like. But I don't think I've ever actually went over here. I know when I was a phoenix, I like looked at it. I didn't say anything about it. Looked at it. Walked away. So yeah, now we get to see it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my goodness. Okay, continuing on with our adventure. More empty land, and then we'll go over here because that's where like the flower place is. Or at least I'm pretty sure, unless I was seeing that from a very different... Yeah, I was seeing that from a different angle. How the heck did I get so far from it? <laughs> oh, I know this place. I like this. I only really like it because of when you go inside, like the bottom is all like flooded and stuff. Which I think is really cool. And I like how it's just like a giant wheel like machine. So like when this thing spins right here, that's gonna spin this. And then you come up here, if I can. I don't think I can without flying. You come up here and then I imagine it would start turning this gear that turns that gear that turns whatever in here. And then that would come out right here. Okay, bam, look at that. I did that. <laughs> I figured out where and what things are coming from. This is, this is great. I know, I know, I know. Uh, okay, flower place. Where are you at? I'm pretty sure it's over in this direction because I left it. And I know I saw it, but like, I didn't go to it. I literally kept walking the lava place because there was still more to be looked at, but yet, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I felt like I'd actually be closer. Oh, good, where is it? Okay, so that stuff was there, and then the house is over there. Okay, yeah, okay, it is here. I was about to say, like, what? It's just gone. That doesn't make no sense. Okay, so here we are. I like this place. It gives me kind of like Shard Seeker vibes and Dragon Adventure vibes from like all the crystals and whatnot. And that gives me like Shard Seeker vibes from like the giant mushrooms. <laughs> so I'm getting like feels from all different, all different games. Also, I don't know if you guys realize, but I've been making like a lot of Dragon Adventure videos. <laughs> this is a break. This is a break from all of that because we, I, we have been making too many. Oh goodness. I took a break for a while on that game, so I'll probably be making like a part four whenever I get something new and once I learn something new. And one thing I'm really looking forward to is getting the Hydra or something. Something like that. Okay, so as you can see, I have 130 and I was dressed as the hummingbird, so we're gonna get the hummingbird. Let's see what the colors are. Okay, well obviously I was very wrong. But we'll still use this because I like this a lot better and that's usually how I would color hummingbirds. So I just realized it looks like really good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just trying to walk is like... Ah. <laughs> Imagine someone just calls you over. Oh my goodness. Someone literally just calls you over and you just like start running at them like this. So the wings are like your arm, your legs just like lift off the ground. And you're just flapping your arms constantly as your legs are up in the air as you go in to greet this person. Like, hey, best friend, I'm coming for you. Like, <laughs> I could just imagine somebody greeting me like that because I have really weird friends. So, like, <laughs> if I imagine that they're going to greet me like that, I mean, it's, it seems pretty accurate. And, like, they would actually greet me like that because... Like, no joke, they just seem like the people that would do that. <laughs> Which, I mean, seems weird, but, like, if you got friends like that, there's something else. <laughs> they are good friends. So, if they're good friends and weird, then that is amazing. Oh, look, I found a pile of fish. <laughs> Gotta go. I don't know where I'm going exactly. I would just imagine I am walking around now cluelessly because I finally got the bird I wanted. I mean, I could have actually gotten the bird in the beginning of the video, but I got sidetracked and started showing the um the map, even though I don't know if you guys really even wanted to see the map. But yet, we can see all these other birds, like a parrot and you. And actually, you know what? <laughs> Get rid of the fish. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. There we go. Okay. Anyways... That's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to Powerful Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!